Welcome to the Super Data Science series on Apache Spark. Where we're going to be focusing on using PySpark. Now this series is going to be in the first of a few and it's going to touch on how to set it up on your system. We're going to use Mac as example and we're going to do you know a, a few integrations and a, a quick example um, using PySpark but before we get into that, you may be thinking, you know, what is Apache Spark? Have you heard, if you have heard of it, that's fantastic. If you haven't, that's not a problem at all. Apache Spark basically is, as it says, lightning fast cluster computing. It can, you know, it's, it's fantastic just for its uses because it can use Java, Scala, Python, and R. Again, we're going to be using PySpark, which is the API built off of Spark using Python. If you're looking to get into more work or just learn more about data science, machine learning, and uh, big data in general, PySpark and Apache Spark are good things to learn. And to give some quick examples of you know some uses for PySpark, you can think about semantic analysis, maybe taking millions of tweets from Twitter and uh, running semantic analysis on them, or say for example you want to uh, run a k-means cluster algorithm on real-time transaction data from an e-commerce site. Now these are the type of cases that PySpark can be uh, great for. I mean it's it's very um, applied in general. You know, they, just think about using PySpark on extremely large data sets because it's going to be, it's, it's fast, it's fast cluster computing and it's going to uh, get you the results a lot quicker than using other methodologies. So again, just think big data, machine learning, AI, uh, data science, PySpark is great to know. Let's look at some of the benefits if you're looking to uh, work with big data or large scale data sets and cluster computing, you know, it's speed, it's ease of use and uh, generality. And again, it runs everywhere. We're gonna end up downloading it or uh, running it off of Hadoop uh, and getting that set up. So I encourage you to take a look around at the documentation. You can also visit the PySpark or the Python programming guide, the, the Python API. For just to get yourself a little more familiar, you can take a look at the uh, API docs, you know, Spark Core for Python. Um, you know, it has uh, some deployment uh, if you're looking, you know, eventually to set up on an Amazon cluster, and mainly just an overview if you want to get yourself more familiar with it. But again, in the next few videos, we're going to work through a setup. We have to get everything installed on the machine. And we will be looking at, you know, building and doing some uh, quick and fun tutorials before we get into something more serious and uh, larger projects in, in the series and tutorials to come. And two more quick notes before we move on. You can also visit the uh, hadoop.apache.org if you're just looking for some more general information, to, you know, figure out, you know, what is Hadoop if you haven't heard of it. If, again, if you have, I highly encourage you to take a look because it's never a bad idea just to refresh some information. And that being said, for this tutorial and for our series, we're going to be working out of uh, Anaconda and Jupyter Notebooks. We're also going to be using Python 3. So I encourage you, um, when you get the chance, before we start the next video, to download Anaconda for your system. Again, through this series, we're going to be using uh, Mac OS. Uh, download it and get it set up so we can start integrating uh, PySpark into your machine and start working from our Jupyter Notebook. All right, so as always, subscribe to the Super Data Science channel where you find weekly and up-to-date, fascinating information on what's going on with the industry. And uh, I will see you in the next series. And I will see you in the next video.